Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. We are continuing talking about the PIC24 and DS PIC33 devices. And the question some of you all may have is, why would I use a PIC24 or PIC33 device when these are 16-bit devices and there are ARM Cortex 32-bit devices available on the market today and even RISC-5 devices? The reason for that is very simple. The first thing is a legacy. In industry, there are a lot of applications that are legacy in that they are already working with PIC24 and DS PIC33 devices and their application runs good. Another reason is that within the industry, embedded industry, 16-bit devices find a lot of use in things like automotive, motor control and power applications. The reason is this. When you're designing power applications, you really want to have good control over your device. And 16-bit devices have more powerful features like more powerful pulsate modulation and better timers than an 8-bit device. An 8-bit device will take you so far. However, 32-bit devices have this powerful PWM. They have powerful timer counters, but they are very difficult to work with they are more complex so a designer who wants some of the simplicity associated with 8 bit devices but wants some of the more powerful peripherals that is usually available on a 32 bit controller will opt for using this there are also specialized design tools like there's the motor bench development suite for assisting with things like field oriented control and motor control applications something like your proportion trigger control loops which is your PID loops um, there are things that help with board plots so these are things to consider in my case particularly I chose these devices because of the USB features device in particular have a very flexible USB I've worked with the SAM B21 I've worked with STM32s I've worked with a lot of microcontrollers with, that has USB in them out of all the microcontrollers I've worked with the PIC24 has the best and easiest USB to set up. Ease at which you could configure something like this with just a 480 page data sheet is not something you can really do with an ARM Cortex device. Usually if I'm working on an ARM device, going through a lot of different pages, a lot of different manuals, those kind of things, you'd up for a 16-bit device. So that's just my thoughts on this topic. And in further tutorials, we look at we start looking at how you can set up these devices, and we look at using peripherals. That's it, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.